Find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the lines 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 and 2x plus y is equal to 3. This is a multiple choice question and so you solve the question and then after that you pick the correct option. The question wants us to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of these two lines. When two lines intersect, you can find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the two lines by solving the equations of the two lines simultaneously. So here, to get the coordinates of the point of intersection of these two lines, we are going to solve the equations of these two lines simultaneously. The first one is 2x plus 3y is equal to 5. I'll call that equation 1. And the second one is 2x plus y is equal to 3. I'll call that equation 2. I'm going to eliminate x and so I'll subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So I'll take equation 1 and then I'll subtract equation 2 from it. We will have 2x minus 2x plus 3y minus y is equal to 5 minus 3. 2x minus 2x will give us 0. 2y minus y will give us 2y. 5 minus 3 will give us 2. To get y, I'll divide both sides by 2. So y will be equal to 2 divided by 2, which will give us 1. And so the value of y is 1. What it means is that the y coordinate of the point of intersection of the two lines is 1. Let's find the x coordinate. We can pick any of the equations. I'll pick equation 2. From equation 2, we know that 2x plus y is equal to 3. We have just found out that y is 1. So it means that we can replace y here with 1. When we do that, we are going to have 2x plus 1 is equal to 3. And 2x will be equal to 3 minus 1, which will give us 2. So 2x is equal to 2. To get x, I will divide both sides by 2. And so x will be equal to 2 divided by 2, which is 1. What this also means is that the x coordinate of the point of intersection of the two lines is also 1. So the x coordinate is 1 and the y coordinate is 1. This means that the coordinates of the point of intersection of these two lines are 1 and 1. When we look through the options we have here, we can see that the correct option is option C, 1, 1. In the diagram, PQRS is a circle with center O. The length of QR is equal to the length of RX and angle ROQ is 50 degrees. If angle QPS is X, find X. This is a multiple choice question and so we will solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option. We are going to use the information found on this diagram to find X. From the center of a circle to a point on the circumference will give us the radius. So it means that O Q is a radius, O R is a radius, and O S is also a radius. In the same circle, the radius of a circle will be equal. So it means that O Q is equal to O R and is equal to O S. So the length O Q is equal to the length O R and is equal to the length O X. The chord KOR is equal to RX. And we have found out that OK is equal to OR and is equal to OX. What it means is that the triangle KOR is the same as the triangle ROS. Because the length OK is equal to the length OR. And it's also equal to the length OS. And KOR is also equal to RS. So the triangle KOR 
is the same as the triangle ROS. If they are the same, then if angle KOR is 50 degrees, then it means that angle ROS is also 50 degrees. So the angle here is also 50 degrees. So the angle S O K O will be equal to 50 degrees plus 50 degrees, which is 100 degrees. So the total angle formed here is 100 degrees. Let's join the point K O to the point S to get the chord K O S. We now have the chord K O S. One of the theorems of a circle is that in a circle, the angle a chord subtends at the center of the circle is two times or twice the angle it subtends at the circumference. So here, the angle the chord KOS subtends at the center is two times the angle the same chord KOS will subtend at the circumference. So what it means is that 2 times angle KORS, which is the angle subtended at the circumference, will be equal to the angle subtended at the center, which is angle SOQ. Angle KORS is X, and we have just found out that angle SOQ is 100 degrees. So you have 2X is equal to 100 degrees. To get X, I will divide both sides by 2. So x will be equal to 100 degrees divided by 2, which is 50 degrees. So the value of x is 50 degrees. When we look through the options, we can see that the correct option is B. Convert 1120 base 5 to base 10 numeral. This is a multiple choice question. And so you solve the question and after that we will pick the correct option. We are going to convert 1120 base 5 to base 10. We will begin by multiplying each digit in the number by the base. So we have 1 times 5 in one bracket plus 1 times 5 in another bracket plus 2 times 5 in another bracket and then 0 times 5 in another bracket. After we are done, starting from right to left, the first base will have an exponent of 0, the second one will have an exponent of 1, the third one will have an exponent of 2, and the fourth one will have an exponent of 3. So we are going to have 1 times 5 exponent 3 plus 1 times 5 exponent 2 plus 2 times 5 exponent 1 plus 0 times 5 exponent 0. 5 exponent 3 will give us 1, 2, 5. So we have 1 times 1, 2, 5 plus 5 squared will give us 25. So we have 1 times 25 plus 5 exponent 1 is 5, so we have 2 times 5 plus 5 exponent 0 is 1, so we have 0 times 1. 1 times 125 will give us 125. 1 times 25 will give us 25. 2 times 5 will give us 10. And 0 times 1 will give us 0. 125 plus 25 plus 10 plus 0 will give us 160. So it means that if we convert 1120 base 5 to base 10, we are going to have 160. When we look through the options we have, we can see that the correct option is B. Given that tan y is equal to negative 1 divided by 4 and y is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees find cos y this is a multiple choice question and so you solve the question 
and after that we will pick the correct option the question tells us that tan y is equal to negative 1 divided by 4 and y falls between 90 degrees and 180 degrees tan y is negative because it falls between 90 degrees and 180 degrees we are going to use this information to find cos y let's present what we have here on a right angle triangle if we have the right angle triangle a b c like the one we have here and we choose this angle as y we know that tan is opposite divided by adjacent so it's neither that the opposite will be one and the adjacent side will be four the negative sign is because it falls between 90 degrees and 180 degrees on a right angle triangle here we can see that ac will be the hypotenuse because it is the longest side or the side facing the right angle we can use the pythagoras theorem to find the side ac if we apply the pythagoras theorem here we are going to have ac squared is equal to ab squared plus bc squared ab is 4 bc is 1 so we have ac squared plus 1 squared plus 4 squared 1 squared plus 4 squared will give us 17 so ac squared is equal to 17 we take square root of both sides and we have ac is equal to square root of 17 so the side ac is square root of 17 cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse but let's consider something here the question tells us that the angle y falls between 90 degrees and 180 degrees if we consider the four quadrants like the one we have here if the angle falls between 0 degrees and 90 degrees then sine of the angle is positive cos of the angle is positive and tan of the angle is also positive that is if it falls between 0 degrees and 90 degrees if the angle falls between 90 degrees and 180 degrees it is only sine of the angle that is positive that is why here tan y is negative because y falls between 90 degrees and 180 degrees and between 90 degrees and 180 degrees it is only sign that is positive if the angle falls between 180 degrees and 270 degrees it is only tan that is positive sine is negative and cos is also negative and if the angle falls between 270 degrees and 360 degrees it is only cos that is positive sine is negative and tan is also negative here the question tells us that the angle falls between 90 degrees and 180 degrees it means that the angle is in this quadrant and in this quadrant it is only sine that is positive so it means that if we find cos y cos y is going to be negative let's find cos y from the diagram we have here we know that cos is adjacent divided by hypotenuse so cos y will be the adjacent side which is 4 divided by the hypotenuse which is square root of 17 so cos y will be 4 divided by square root of 17 but because it falls between 90 degrees and 180 degrees cos y will be negative because between 90 degrees and 180 degrees it is only sign that is positive cos is negative and tan is also negative so cos y is equal to negative 4 divided by 17 when you look through the options given to us you can see that the correct option is d
which of the following is the image of negative 2 5 under the mapping x y maps to 2 y as the x coordinate and y minus 2 x as the y coordinate this is a multiple choice question and so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option the rule for the mapping given to us is x y maps to 2 y as the x coordinate and y minus 2 x as the y coordinate the point is negative 2 5 so it means that where we see x we replace it with negative 2 and where we see y we replace it with 5 so negative 2 5 will give us 2 times y which is 5 and then the y coordinate we have y which is 5 minus 2 times x which is negative 2 2 times 5 will give us 10 negative 2 times negative 2 give us positive 4 so you have 5 plus 4 5 plus 4 will give us 9 so it means that using this rule negative 2 5 will give us 10 9 so the point negative 2 5 will give us the image 10 9 when you look through the options given to us, you can see that the correct option is D.